Okay, we got five boxes left. Hey guys, Zero Eleven here, and today we're continuing the case of 2021, Series 1. We still need some key poles, like the clear-cut young guns and the canvas young guns. We need some French young guns, so let's get right into it. Five more boxes in the case. Let's see what we get in this box. See what we get here. These aren't sticking like the last box, so that's good. Ryan Suter, UD Canvas. So get four of these a box. Suter, UD Canvas. Okay, continuing on here. Okay. Okay, Adam Fox, debut dates. There we go, Adam Fox, debut dates, October 3rd, 2019. All right. Next pack up, here we got, oh, Dazzlers, Steven Stamkos. Dazzlers Blue. Again, one per box. All right. Yeah, these are easier to open for whatever reason. These are easier to open, but there's Jake Ottinger. Young Guns. Sold him recently, so that's a solid one there. Ottinger, nice. Okay. Still hoping to get a second of that player, Lafreniere. Still hoping to get a second Lafreniere here. Um, Darcy Kemper, UD Portrait. Okay, all right. Let's hope to get a second one here. Card number 201, but looks like we've got a canvas young gun. No, nope. no, nope. rookie retrospective. I was confused by the color there, but Jack Hughes, tied for 18th in goals, tied for 16th in points for your number one overall pick. Okay, come on, French young guns, where are you? Okay, what do we got in this pack? Here we got canvas. Yeah, look at that, James. Uh, both of them on one card. Yeah, Quinn Hughes and Elias. Yes, beautiful. So there's a canvas checklist from one through 90, the base. And yeah, look at that. Both of them in one card, awesome. Okay, pretty stoked about that, not gonna lie. Okay, all right. Oh, got young guns here, we got. Well, make sure there's no card sticking, but yeah, Liam Foodie, Young Guns. Very good one there. Very impressed with him. Made his debut late last year before the stoppage. Looked good in the playoffs. There's Liam Foodie. World Junior gold medalist as well, so that's a good one there, Liam Foodie. So he's probably going to get a pretty darn good role with the Jackets this upcoming year. Could be a top six guy for them, so there's that. Okay, we got another French. Yep, jeez. Vincent Trocek, French variation. Still waiting on the Young Guns. Jeez, but there's Vinny Trocek on the Canes there. Okay, all right, next pack up here. What the heck is this? Oh, it's one of those, uh, I keep on forgetting what these are called, but NHL Worldwide, Evgeny Malkin, Russia. There we go, NHL Worldwide. Next one up here. Come on, something here, come on, something. Oh, Travis Konechny, Upper Deck Portraits, Konechny, okay. Also looking for a base variation, you know, them wearing the street clothes. Still hoping to get one of those. We got another Young Guns, here it is. Hey, there we go. Nick Robertson, young gun. So, spoiler alert, already got Robertson. That's a nice one to double up on, though. Very nice one. So, there's Robertson. Awesome. There we go. I'll take it. So, we're already seeing some doubles in the young guns, which is a little concerning, considering we're hoping to get a double of that certain player. But there is that. We got another young guns here. Oh, there he is. Joe Wall, young guns. They have a picture of him from the 2016 draft. What the heck are they going to do with him? They got Aaron Dell and Michael Hutchinson. They better give him some uh, games here. Like, make Hutchinson the fifth string goal and make sure Wall gets some starts because he does have some good upside there. First year with the Marlies, yeah, not too great there. Kaski Swall has moved on to the Preds. There's Joe Wall. He has decent upside. What's even going on with Ian Scott? I know he was injured all of last year, but <sighs> there's Joe Wall. 2016 pick. Carter Hart was off the board when they drafted him, so. They took Igor Korshkov in the second over to bring it and heart ah still bothers me okay continuing on here we got Kiefer bellows portraits rookies and frick off tomas but there's a bellows portraits rookies okay okay continuing on here what do we got in this pack a predominant the backs have like the blue one there so i think it's a young guns but there's sebastian aho predominant here we go okay Next pack up here, what do we got in this pack? We have Canvas, Claude Giroux, you need Canvas. Him warming up there against Chicago, I think, right? Yeah, yeah, I think it's against Chicago there. So there's Giroux, I think that's probably the same game there. So there's that, okay. Okay, next pack up here we have Austin Matthews, NHL Worldwide, USA. There you go, NHL Worldwide of Matthews, all right. 288 total packs. We haven't got a clear cut or a jersey in this box yet. Maybe that'll change right here. What? Oh, oh, looks like we got, is that a high gloss? It looks like it's a base high gloss. So might as well slow roll it. Does not look like it's a uh, high gloss young guns, which is fine. But yeah, it's definitely high gloss. It's, ah, it's Mrazic, but still. Oh, what the heck is that? Ah, Peter Mrazic, UD high gloss. 
and that corner is kind of messed up, but there's Mirazik. Yeah, those look really cool, but mm, that corner's messed up, and Mirazik's not the best name. So there's that. Yeah, we got a high gloss at least, so there we go. Those are pretty tough, very tough. There's only 10 of them. It's 9 of 10, so there's that. Still a decent pull, and the final canvas young guns of the case. Which, by the way, you gotta check out the previous parts. You can tell I'm pretty content with the canvas young guns, but uh, we got <laughs> a bubble card. Very obviously a bubble card. That's pretty cool. Igor Zamula, canvas young guns. That's actually a very awesome picture there because it's clearly in the Toronto bubble. So there's Zamula. There we go, the Russian defenseman. So there's that. I mean, I'll take it. Look at that bubble card. Very distinctive bubble card there. So hey, that's a historically significant card right there. So I'll take it. Okay, continuing on here, another Young Guns is another goal. Yeah, there we go, Connor Ingram, Young Guns. Um, he's looked pretty darn good in the AHL. Um, former Lightning prospect there, Connor Ingram. Actually, let me uh, rephrase that. Excellent stats this past year. Oh my gosh, I didn't know it was that good. Jeez, excellent stats there for Connor Ingram. Again, like a lot of these young goalies, they need the chance, right? Give him a chance, give him some games, see what he does. But there's Connor Ingram. I mean, they just drafted Askarov. So, yeah, I don't know about that. But there's uh, Ingram. Still no French young guns. Okay, final four packs of this box. Let's see if we get... Oh, there's a jersey card, and it is. Oh, okay. Sebastian Ajo, UD Game jersey. I guess this is the Canes box with the high gloss of Mrazic and the Ajo jersey. So, there's that black piece there. Um, game use piece. So, there's Ajo. Okay, three more packs to go here. What do we got in this pack? We got uh, another predominant. Hey, Carter Hart. Predominant. Put that in my collection, so that's nice. Carter Hart predominant. Okay. All right. Next pack here we have Nephew Tyler. There we go. UD Portraits. Look at that. There we go. That's a really nice one there for Nephew Tyler. Awesome. Okay. What's going on here? This is actually the final pack of this break. Okay. And we got Young Guns, Dylan Coglin. Young Guns. So there is Dylan Coglin. I already pulled him. So there's that. Okay. So yeah, guys, there's another box of 2021. Series 1. Nothing too crazy in that box, I would say. Yeah, pretty standard box. Happy with the Robertsons so. and the Joe Wall. But yeah, there's that. So yeah, guys, stay tuned. We're getting close to the finish line here. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.